What age to start bowel management? I think we talked a little bit about that. So certainly if your child has Hirschsprungs and has had their surgery, we're gonna to wanna to follow them closely. If they are that shorter segment or they have the sigmoid um, involvement, those are the kids that are gonna be more constipated. We're gonna to wanna to follow them close with, with um, follow-up clinic visits and x-rays to make sure the child is um, emptying and we're also going to want to make sure that the child is stooling every day. We don't like for them to get behind. So really quick, yeah. uh, accidents and constipation that is refractory to management by laxatives. So if you get to school age and you're having an unacceptable accident rate, uh, like which is like one, you know, that's enough in anybody's life to say, I don't want more accidents. You know, a child that is having accidents on a daily basis and they get to school age, they need bowel management. And then younger than school age, we can tolerate accidents because it's okay to be wearing a diaper. But the constipation ones are the ones that everything we try with laxative is not enough and they just keep backing up. And those are the ones that they back up and they, they're so backed up, they're bloated, they're vomiting, they're going to the operating room for a disimpaction. Those are the ones yes. that will start on bowel management before school age. age. Right, Absolutely. right. Okay. But I will tell you, bowel management, as much as we'll do it on the younger child that's below uh, the, in the two, three range, but the bowel management patients that do best are old enough to sit on a potty mm -hmm. for uh, like an hour if they need to. Those are the ones that do best with it.